I see the, the, the preaching moment as, as one movement in the symphony of worship that's being offered, but an essential one. And I know some people want to sort of play that down, you know, the preaching and have a kind of uh, campfire worship experience. But I think the role of proclamation is key. And the reason is, uh, I believe that as we come and offer ourselves and offer our best to God in worship, God is the audience. But what is intended in doing so, so is make no mistake that we are in, in a battle, as it were. That, that worship is a battle. I, I, I point to the, um, uh, the liturgical scholar, Michael Warren, who talks about worship as a zone of contestation. Because what happens is uh, there are competing um, energies and competing vying, as it were, for our allegiance. Uh, when worship comes, there are narratives that we bring with us from everyday life, from work and assumptions and stories that are bumping up against the story of God, as it were. And we have to decide in worship which are we going to trust more. So preaching, I believe, um, acts in part in service to the construction of that construal, that invitation to link ourselves to God, to say, okay, again, this week, I'm recommitting to the odd, seemingly um, uh, humble or weak gospel of God. When I compare it with what I'm being promised in my life or the narratives that come through advertising or media, it doesn't look like it's very much, but I'm going to decide again this week that I'm going to give my life and commitment over to God's narrative. I'm going to give my allegiance to God again this week. And, and preaching, for me, serves that.